Hello Wanderinos! Welcome back to my channel! So today I'm here with a video of first impressions on the new line by Kiko that's called Green Me. So as you probably know, Kiko came out with a new capsule collection that's called Green Me because it's a line that's dedicated and inspired by nature. I had already seen the preview online, so I had already seen like all of the products that were gonna come out and there were some products that I really really was waiting for because I wanted to try them out. So on the date where the collection came out, I was already in the shop testing everything out and swatching everything for you guys. So that's what today's video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about my first impressions while I was in the shop and I was watching and testing everything. If you like this kind of videos please give me a big thumbs up this way I'll know for next time and also subscribe to my channel because it takes you two seconds and it really makes my day. Also if you want you can click on the bell notification button this way you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Or if you prefer you can always follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the links are gonna be in the info box down below. But let's start with the video. I really wanted to uh, read you something from the Kiko website just because when when this line came out, I really liked the description that they gave of this collection. So here it is, Kiko Milano presents the new Green Me collection, a line of makeup products, uh, skincare treatments and accessories with formulations, textures and packaging with an extremely high percentage of ingredients of natural origin. So of course they're not telling you that everything is like completely natural, but for a Kiko product they have a really high percentage of uh, natural ingredients, which is very very good. Their ingredients and extracts are rich in moisturizing, nourishing, smoothing and detox fine properties because since they are more natural products they are just better for your skin but the part that really astonished me was this one from eco-friendly paper to recyclable plant-based plastic and wooden details each aspect of the packaging is faithful to the natural eco-friendly essence of the green me collection this is something that really drew me to this collection I mean looking for a packaging that is more sustainable and natural that would really be something that would make this work better so I was really in love with the concept for this line and I really would suggest you go and check out what they wrote about it. But let's start with the products. I'm always looking down because I'm on my computer right now and I'm seeing products by product that this way I can't forget anything. So the first product that we have right here is the BB cream. This one is $16 and you have four shades to choose from. I really like the fact that they included the darkest shade but I don't like the fact that the three lightest shade they are very similar to each other. I mean it's just the undertone that changes. You have a more orangey one, a more beigey one and a pinkish one. So it's a little bit of a disappointment just because I was hoping to find something that would suit my skin but I can actually tell you that there was none which was matching my skin so that's a pity also because while I was watching it I really like the consistency of it it's very liquidy and it seems like something that would be absorbed very easily in your skin then we have a loose powder bronzer which is $18 now already the price for this is a little bit too high in my opinion second of all the loose powder bronzers like this one they're very difficult to use I mean if you just use them to warm up your skin they're perfect they work very well but if you use them to do a contour it's very difficult to get them where you actually want them to be they just end up a little bit all over your face so that's a product that I would skip then you have the green me blush which was something that really attracted me a lot this is $14 again it's a little bit more expensive than what it should be in my opinion you have two shades in here you have mauve space and coral view I was really indecised once I saw them online the first one mauve space it's the matte shade and the second one coral view is actually the shimmer shade. While I was in the store I swatched them and oh my gosh luckily I didn't buy them both online just because the first one mauve space is actually a pretty good color because it's a peachy mauve shade and it's beautiful on the skin but the second one coral view it just leaves you this very sheer pink base with lots and lots of glitter so if you're not somebody who's into that sort of blush don't get it because you'll be disappointed in this one. Again luckily I didn't buy them online before swatching them. The other one so mauve space I really 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 wanted to have it it's just that once I got to the shop and I saw like the dimension of the actual pen I'm not even kidding you guys it's so small that I was like $14 for this I guess I'm not paying that and honestly one more reason why I didn't buy this blush was not only the pen was like small but the actual packaging wasn't anything special like it was this brown box and I really understand that it's like natural plastic and everything but I would have liked a little bit more of effort in the video visual aspect of it. So it's one more reason why I didn't buy it. Then we have the Green Me Highlighter Pencil and I was very into this concept just because it must be so comfortable while you're traveling. This one again is $14 which is very expensive especially once you get to the shop and you discover that it's a pencil that's like this big. Again I was like are you kidding me? I'm not paying that amount of money for this product. Plus I swatched them both because you have two tones, a more golden one and a more rosy one and the consistency is like 
like glue. It's like you're swatching glue with tons and tons of glitter. So it's not attractive at all because it leaves you this stroke on your skin as if you were like applying just a stroke of glitters. Then we come to another product that I really wanted to try out, which is the Lips and Cheeks Pencil. And if you watched my uh, lipstick collection, you know that I already have a product like this one by Kiko, which I love. So I was really into this kind of product. You have five shades and they all retail for $12, which is, I mean, it's okay if you think that it's a product that can be used for both cheeks and lips. But once again, once you arrive in the shop, you look at the size of the pencil, it really hurts to spend that amount of money and having such little amount of product. But I was gonna buy it anyway, you know, just because I wanted it so bad. So I went in and I swatched the shade that really got my eyes, which was Red Boost. And guys, I was so sad once again, just because I swatched it. I don't know why, but I was expecting something matte. While it's very satin, like almost glossy like once you swatch it. And the first impression that I had was like, wait, am I supposed to put this on my cheeks? Just because I'm gonna look like a total clown, I think. So that's already something that um, I didn't really like about this product. Plus I had it on my hand for like three seconds and it was already bleeding in all the little lines of my skin. Again, I don't wanna pay that amount of money for a product that is gonna bleed all over my lips. If you're planning on buying one of these, because I really think that it's gonna be comfortable on your lips because it's very, very creamy and you almost don't feel it on the skin. I would suggest you buy the number one cotton field rose and the number two rough rosewood just because these are the most natural colors. This way if ever it bleeds a little bit you won't be able to notice it. Then we have a similar pencil but this time it's a lip gloss pencil. It retails for $10 which makes me very very happy because this is more of the price that I was thinking for even for the uh, lip pencils. But I really like the consistency of the gloss because this one as well is gonna be very very comfortable on your lips. I didn't buy it just because I'm not that into glosses. I really like uh, satin lipsticks and uh, matte liquid lipsticks. But honestly, if you're really into glosses, I would really suggest you buy this one. Then we have the mascara, which retails for $16. I wasn't even able to see this one, actually, because uh, the makeup artist was using it on a client, which was something that really hurt my germophobic soul. But anyway, I wouldn't really know what to say about this one, just because I can't recommend it to you guys. I've never tried it before. The only thing that I feel like saying is that this one is $16. You can find better mascaras for a half of this price and even lower. Then we have some casuals which retail for $9 and I've always bought some casuals by Kiko and I have to say that I was never disappointed in them. Above all the colors for this line are very interesting. You have a beautiful burgundy which is called burgundy stem. I would really buy that one because it's gonna look so beautiful on green eyes. And then you also have another color that's really interesting which is called sustainable black. You can see that it's a black which is more of like a brown so it appears a little bit softer on the skin. Then you have a brow pencil and guys, don't laugh at me, but this is the only product that I got. So it retails for $10, just like the other one. And you have four shades to choose from. You have one for lighter hair, brown hair, darker brown hair, and black hair. It's a pity that you didn't include one for red hair, but you know, it's just a limited collection. This is not permanent, so I really understand. For the moment, what I have to say about it is the fact that it's a little bit more uh, waxy and uh, creamy than the other one, the classic one by Kiko, which I really really like because it also helps your brows to stay in place. It doesn't just like leave some color, it actually keeps them a little bit more in place because you apply it on the other brows and the wax in it, it just keeps them in place. So I really really like this one. Then we have the last makeup product, which was also the product that I was the most excited about and that I was waiting for the most, which is the eyeshadow palette. Now there are so many things that I would like to say about this palette. First of all, the first thing that I thought like straight away when I saw this palette was oh it looks very similar to this one which is the palette from the Kiko Less Is Better collection that got out like one year and a half ago. This was the first thought that I had. Kiko has been doing a lot of this, I mean repackaging new products in old packaging and it doesn't bother me at all. If you want more proof this is an old Kiko collection and this is the last one that got out, this is the Free Spirit collection so same packaging it just changes in color but for this palette right here the fact is that I will try and insert pictures of the Kiko Less is better one and this one right here but guys they look completely the same and I know that the formulation is different and everything but why doing a palette like this which looks almost exactly the same to this one that just got out one year and a half ago I mean people that already bought this one they really don't need this new one just because it's actually the same maybe there are two shades that vary a little bit but I'm telling you it's a slight slight difference you wouldn't be able to notice it like straight away so that's the thing that I didn't really like and this palette right here is called the Natural Credential and it retails for 
$18. Then you have a second version of this palette which is called the Feasty Saffron that always retails for $18. This was the palette that I was waiting for because the first thing that I thought was like, oh my gosh, it's a miniature for the Naked palette. I need this in my life. I mean, for $18, it's such a bargain. So it's the product for which I was actually in the shop swatching everything because I wanted to get this one. And of course, I went on and swatched first the metallic shades just because these are the ones that I love the most. And guys, what a disappointment. I know that I'm saying this a lot today, but I have to be honest with you guys and tell you that the pigmentation is just not there. You have a very sheer base with lots of glitter on it that don't even stick to it. I mean, it's such a disappointment because if you swatch it with your hands and this is the result, imagine getting it on your eyes, even with your fingers, but mostly with a brush. I mean, it's not gonna look good and it's such a pity. And I also tried swatching some of the mattes. They didn't impress me at all. I mean, they start up pigmented and as you move your finger, they just come out so sheer and so patchy. I mean, I know that it's just $18, but it's really not worth it. If you're like me and you've tried many, many drugstore, good drugstore options, this one is not gonna do it for you. So that's it. We are done with all of the makeup part of this collection because there is also a skincare part, which I'm not gonna talk about just because for skincare, you have really to try it on your skin multiple times to see if it works. So I won't be talking about the skincare part, but the other part that I wanna talk about are the brushes because I had the chance to feel them, to feel the bristles and feel the handles in the shop. And I have to say, they're very expensive, but they're very sturdy as well. Like they feel like something that's not gonna break the first time that you wash it, which I really, really appreciate. They're not super expensive, but they're not like cheap either. And unfortunately, since I already have so many brushes, I didn't really feel the need to buy these. But the one that I would suggest to you guys the most is the double eye brush, because of course it's double-ended, duh. This way you can use it for both sides. It's $14 and the bristles on this one, they are very soft, but they're also very dense. So they're perfect to pack on the color on your eyelids, especially if you're using an eyeshadow wet with a fixed pass. So if you have to choose just one from all the collection, I would really suggest you choose this one because in my opinion, it's the most valid ones. But even the other two, I felt the bristles and they're so super soft. Plus I have to say that I like this look with all of the, like the wooden handle and the soft golden metal thing around the bristles. I really, really like it. They did an amazing job on the brushes. So guys, this is it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also again, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button. If you've already tried out these products, please leave me in the comments down below what you think about them. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification button. This way you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Or if you prefer, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye bye!